Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we have a handful of knives we're going to go through that you might have or might not have ever seen before. This is the Keto Telson, and it's pretty interesting because this blade, it's almost like it's glass blasted or something. It's like the, the one step before a mirror polish. It is very, very fine. You can't actually see through it. It is reflective, but it's different because it's not like a bead blast. It's much, much finer. That's why I call it maybe like, I don't know, a glass blasted for like a long time. Anyways, titanium frame lock with this beautiful multicolored G10 that actually pops with the color of the pivot collar and the hardware. A very comfortable flipper tab. Well-tuned detent. The detent is perfectly well-tuned, especially for this comfortable of a flipper tab. The thing rockets out there. Now you do have this fuller that you can also use as a thumb or reverse flick. It's a little smooth. I wish it was a little grippier. I'm kind of thinking about maybe roughing up the texture right there. I don't even think you'd be able to see it because of the way the shadow is in it, but it would make it reverse flick just a little bit better. Not that, not that it doesn't reverse flick because it does, but you know, it's a little bit slippery. Um, very ergonomic. We do have a titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. Nice way to do the lanyard hole back here. You know, it is kind of hidden. Um, but very comfortable in the hand and the sheep's foot blade M390 steel is going to cut very, very well. And it's going to be great for EDC tasks. This is a pretty good knife. Next we have, next is the Fox Moonstruck. Now the Fox Moonstruck is made in Italy and it is a karambit style knife with the wave feature. Now, this one is a brightened blades design, which is uh, a group of ladies that helps make knives and designs and does collabs for, for the ladies out there. So they help collab with uh, Fox Knives, and you know, I think they have their own stuff too, or I know they do, um, that uh, you know, is spe specifically for the ladies. However, this is still a karambit knife. It's just a karambit knife, whether a man is holding it or a lady's holding it. And I think they have lots of different versions of this, but it has Elmax steel, very, very pokey hawkbill blade. This thing is nasty, super nasty. The ergonomics on this handle are really, really good. They do have the titanium milled pocket clip reversible. So you can flip it over if you want it in the forward grip like this, or, you know, if you want it in the karambit grip, you can also have it, you know, in this position. It is a titanium frame lock with carbon fiber. And I like how they mix the titanium and the carbon fiber, kind of reversing it. It's really cool. The flipping action, very snappy detent. I gotta give them credit, very, very, very snappy detent. And then you have this hole deployment that's pretty easy to get to. Again, super duper snappy. You can also thumb flick it. Um, nice strong detent. My one complaint is this access to the lock bar, man. They have, a, it's a very strong lock bar. So, you know, one that's gonna be good because, you know, it makes it rock solid, right? This thing is very, very solid. And you, when you feel the lock bar tension, you're like, oh yeah, of course it's super solid. It has a very strong lock bar, but then they didn't cut back the access to the lock bar. And that kind of fumbles the bag. I struggle sometimes to disengage it. Now, to be clear, you're mostly worried about opening it, right? So that's, you know, and it rapidly deploys. The deployment's great, but I can't stand you know, poor lock bar access, especially with a strong lock bar tension, which this absolutely has very strong lock bar tension, but it's still a really cool knife. I love the materials, LMAX, titanium, carbon fiber. The price is very hefty though. That's another thing. I'm not a fan of the price. It is made in Italy, so I kind of understand, but, um, but anyways, very cool piece and shout out to Brighton Blades. The Jerry Moen Tooling. Now, I personally love this knife. Now, I know some people are going to say it is a little expensive for RWL 34 steel. RWL 34 steel is very similar to 154 CM. Uh, the custom maker that designs this, because this is OEM'd by Riat, but... Uh, 
But Jerry Moen, he does make custom knives and he like he loves using RWL34. So that's what he used on his production knives as well. But this knife is so interesting to me because it's unique. It's different. It's not like everything else you see out there. The deployment options work great. This is a super duper functioning blade shape. I love this blade shape. And this is one of the best handles you could ever ask for for a pinch grip. I mean, because it goes from skinny to fat, this thing fills your hand really, really well. And for pinch grips, man, utility cuts, it just, it feels like it was made for. Like this handle is so perfect for EDC. I love this handle. Uh, the jimping on the spine is really nice, uh, very grippy. You got it all the way around. It does have a hidden lanyard pin. It has the ceramic ball clip, and this one actually works somewhat decent. The inlay work is not only incredible micarta, but it's very, very well done. You, you know, you can expect that from a Riyadh. The one complaint I have is I wish it did have better access to the lock bar, but I have gotten used to it and it's very fidgety, ex extremely, extremely smooth. And yeah, it's an awesome, awesome knife. I personally like it a lot, but you know, like I said, people are gonna look at the steel and say it shouldn't be priced that high, but that's the steel that Jerry Moen likes on his knives. So, you know, I can't complain. His customs are much more expensive, so. Next is a knife, I, I'm not sure if it's available yet. I don't think so, but it will be available soon. I think on the 26th or 27th, but I just wanted to remind you guys about it because this is one of the best, best techs that have co it's come out in a while. You know, maybe the Fairchild is the one knife that I'd say is competing with this. This thing is ultra, ultra smooth, like super duper smooth action. You can tell it's on bearings, very grippy crossbar lock, super solid lock. I mean, this thing is, it feels like a vault. Then you have this beautiful, beautiful Tonto that's a drop point Tonto with a super deep hollow grind. I mean, this is very thin and it's not just thin behind the edge, it's thin moving all the way up that grind. It's a deep hollow. Then we have a nice thick flat grind up here. It's gonna be a nice tough yet very pokey tip that's gonna be easy to use for utility cutting. So this is a Tonto that you can use just like a drop point. And this hollow grind is gonna trap materials in it almost like a recurve. The handle, extremely, extremely ergonomic. This is a great user. I can't express that enough. Fantastic user. Um, it does have the big hardware that we expect from Poltergeist Designs, because it is a Poltergeist design. It is a titanium bolster, not a bolster lock, but a bolster knife, you know, because it's got the titanium bolsters um, with really good quality micarta. And this titanium milled pocket clip, that's also a pretty deep carry clip, works great. Like I said, this one's one I can definitely recommend. Yes, it's a thumb, thumb disc action, which I know some people are not big fans of. They are nice and grippy, which is good. They're not slippery at all. The Best Tech Cetus is an awesome, awesome knife. I, I'm really, really digging this one. Um, next is... Another one that's uh, coming out very soon, I actually have the Sheep's Foot version on the way. This one is the Warncliffe version. This is the Vosteed Mayhem. And I really appreciate the way they did this because it's basically a compression lock. It's a compression lock with a button attached. So you have a liner that wedges itself between the stop pin and the tang of the blade, just like a compression lock, making this thing an absolute vault. It's very, very solid. Yeah, look at this, stupid smooth. I mean, this thing, like there's no resistance. It almost feels like it's loose. That's how drop shutty it is. Then the detent, uh, because it's not a regular plunge grind, or sorry, a regular plunge lock or button lock, since it is on a detent, a regular detent, this flipper tab is tuned to perfection. When you break that detent, you feel that thing snap out with authority. And then that button, nice, easy access, and um, very, very well placed. Then the hole deployment, <laughs> equally as good as the, the, the flipper tab. Very, very well tuned detent for the thumb or reverse flick. You can choke up. I'm not a big fan of the dual grind. You know, having two different grinds here, that's not really my style um, because I don't want my edge bevel to thicken up back here. But, you know, it's more of just an aesthetic thing. It's not gonna, there's really no purpose for it. Um, so, you know, it, it's just a cool looking thing. But the handle's very ergonomic. You have a titanium mill pocket clip and backspacer. I like how it goes somewhat from narrow to wider. Very, very comfortable in the hand. 
and you know you can choke up great pinch grips this is going to be a fantastic utility cutter and this one will be coming very very soon so keep your eye out on this one now this is one i've actually had this knife for a while so you've probably seen this around especially if you've watched my channel a lot this is the tucson ts380 and i think that this is a fantastic example of a hard use knife as far as a frame lock goes now you know, obviously there's gonna be a lot of knives out there that are more hard use, but as far as just a great pocket knife that you can be tougher on, this is a great example. You have a super tough steel, 14C28N, robust geometry that does get down thin behind the edge. So it's gonna cut really well, and it did take a very sticky, nasty, sharp edge, but it's gonna cut really well, but at the same time, you're not gonna have to worry about breaking this blade. This is definitely a blade you can maybe do a little light duty prying with. You can see how thick the titanium scales are and how strong that lockup is. Really good quality carbon fiber. The overlays on the carbon fiber are contoured, so it makes it mega comfortable. When you grip onto this, it, it does feel like you're holding onto a fixed blade. It's that comfortable. Um, and then you have great access to the lock bar. It's very, very smooth. You have the reverse flick, thumb flick, or the flipper tab. They all work really, really well. And the clip is another one. This clip works great. So basically everything about this knife is good. You know, even the sharp control and plunge grind is good. Uh, full titanium backspacer. Um, it, it's such a solid built knife and this is one of the good ones from tucson this is a great example of a knife from tucson that you can get for a fantastic price fantastic price and you're getting what you pay for and then some you know and like i said this is a a tough knife this is something that you can just, once you get in hand you're like yeah yeah that's a tough knife you know you can really feel it uh but at the same time it's a great edc knife and you know it's definitely a large knife so you know you definitely have to like large knives it's got some weight to it but what a fantastic build they did a really good job on this one uh there's just some knives that tucson does and they just knock it out of the park so anyways work hard stay tough society's relying on you until next time peace